Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and I am a hot messy mama. Today I'm gonna to be playing with a bunch of the items I got from the Sephora sale and a couple not from the Sephora sale. Some of the new Lisa Eldridge eyeshadow palettes and lips, so if you wanna see me create this look with a bunch of these new products, please stay tuned. I got the new Caudalie Grape Water Spray. It's an aerosol comparison. This is the Beauty Elixir Spray, which is much smaller and way more expensive. The Elixir Spray is 3.3 ounces, and the Grape Water, which as far as I understand, is just grape water in an aerosol can is seven ounces. So I'm gonna spray that first. Mmm, the mister on this is absolutely lovely. Ooh, it's so refreshing, love it. I'm gonna go in with the Merit Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. I'm gonna shake it up, of course, because it is a bi-phase liquid. This packaging, can we talk about it? The beautiful glass jar and the gold, the all of the Merit packaging is pretty breathtaking. Uh, just two pumps today. It's, oh, it's an oil, it's very liquidy, so I'm gonna rub it in. Very runny, I say liquidy? That's not a word. That's beautiful. Do you see that glow? Such a lovely serum. It's got hyaluronic acid, multiple types of hyaluronic acid, 2% niacinamide, a bunch of just stunning ingredients. It's great as a part of your normal skincare or as a prep for makeup. Ugh, very hydrating, especially going into these winter months. Two more prep steps. I'm gonna use the gingerbread sleeping mask from the Sephora collection. Hate that it is a tube with a lid like this. I would much prefer even a potted application. It's lovely though. It's not too thick, but extremely nourishing and silky. Lovely, love that. Bear in mind, it's not a gingerbread flavor. It is a scent. Whereas the Laneige, it is more of a flavor and a scent. So, going in with the In Beauty Project Face Glaze. This is an illuminating primer. Could also just be skincare. You can see on my hand how pretty that is. Whew. But once you blend it in, it's not quite as intense. It's infused with vegan squalane ceramides and hyaluronic acid it's a beautiful formula very hydrating and illuminating without micro glitters i like it i think the vive skin nova is more hydrating it feels almost cooling on the skin and you feel that hydration this i don't quite feel the hydration as much it's lovely, but it does not feel as hydrating as the Skin Nova. But it's still a beautiful, beautiful product, and it's a little bit less expensive. I wish it had a pump, but it's beautiful. Because I am gonna be using some of the other Lisa Eldridge items, and I did not get any new foundations from my Sephora sale haul. That is what I'm gonna use. The Lisa Eldridge Seamless Skin foundation. This is a beautiful formula. I am first going to go in with some of her liquid highlighter just on the high points. Very similar to how I would use the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter under the edge of the brows, down the center of my nose. This is the Elevated Glow Liquid Highlight. All right. Before I even blend that in, again, I'm gonna go in with the Lisa Eldred Seamless Skin Foundation. This is in the shade 15. The Sigma Multitasker Brush. This was part of the Alice in Wonderland set. It's an awesome, awesome shape brush. 
I'm gonna distribute the foundation around my face first, just a dot at a time. Take some with the brush. I'm gonna add one more pump. I'm gonna focus that where I want the most coverage. A slightly more dense kabuki brush would give more coverage. Matte but not flat. A little more matte than natural, but not, <clears throat> not luminous and definitely not full matte. I guess maybe a soft matte, but it really is seamless. It is so skin-like. All right, for concealer, I'm gonna go in with an oldie. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade three. It's a little light. If I need to darken it up, I will use some of the Armani Luminous Silk in the shade five, cause that's pretty light. This is a beautiful concealer. Yeah, I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of the Armani Luminous Silk. Again, this is shade five just to darken this up a little bit. And I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm not gonna set yet. First, I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty Cream Bronzer. I haven't used it in a while. I did not get a cream bronzer. Just a little, ooh, this is the darker shade. I believe it's Happy Soul. I'm just going to do those four for now because it is winter, I'm a little bit more pale, and that is a pretty dark shade. It's really a beautiful formula. I'm going to Puerto Rico next uh, day, tomorrow. By the time you see this, I'll already be there. I'm excited because it's Thanksgiving and my birthday and my father and my stepmother live there. And I've only been to Puerto Rico three times. This will be my third time in my entire life. So I'm excited. My son's really excited to fly on an airplane for the first time. I'm just taking what's left on the brush down my nose. It should be a lot of fun. That is a stunning bronzer. I haven't used it in so long. I'm really glad I did. Okay, now. I'm going to set. Nope, I take it back. I'm gonna go in with one of the, the cream uh, blushes from Lisa Eldridge. These can be a little finicky, which is why I'm doing it before setting. This is the Enliven Cream Blush. They're very, oh, it's a very stiff formula. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit with my finger and just dot a couple dots, the rest on my brush. That's really lovely. They're, see, they're, they can be finicky, but also they can be really easy to use. I find that was really easy. I'm actually gonna add a little more. I remembered these being a lot harder to use. There, that's a little better. I'm gonna warm it up with my hand. Put a couple dots, there we go. This is the, again the shade Dante's Dream. Rub it into the brush. Oh, what a pretty, pretty formula and a gorgeous shade. I'm bringing that just a little bit up on the outer edge of my eye. Oh, that is pretty. Now I'm going to set with the new Givenchy. It's new to me, the Givenchy setting powder. This is shade three, the rose shade on there. Let's put that right there, <laughs> right in the middle. I could use a puff and rub it you know, get it in, but I think I want a little bit lighter coverage so, and tap some of that off and just set under the eyes, around the edge of the Lisa Eldridge blush. The 
it blurs. My under eyes look pretty smooth. It helps the makeup last. My smile lines look good. It's really a stunning, stunning powder. For highlight, I'm gonna go in with the Valentino. It's so pretty. Eye to cheek. And this is the star studded edition from Holiday. <laughs> the rock stud Valentino logo. It's the most ridiculous bougie product I've ever purchased with a little brush. I am going to use this brush. Tap a little bit off. It's a little bit glittery, but not ridiculous. And it too is pretty blurring. It's so hard to hold on to that little tiny brush, let me tell you. Take a little more. Makes a beautiful eyeshadow as well, but oh my goodness, that's pretty. I'm really, really pleased with this purchase. It's really pretty. And the little brush sits up there. Oh, love it. I mean, can you even with that cheek? It's beautiful. Okay, from here, I'm gonna do a quick spritz of the Elixir from Caudalie. This is also a bi-phase. You do want to shake it. It has some oils in it. Ooh, it's refreshing and smells like a spa. I have a little last sip of my margarita. For eyeshadow, I will insert swatches right here. These swatches you're looking at are the Lisa Eldridge Holiday Eyeshadow Palettes in Vega and Cinnabar. Here is the outer box packaging. The sticker on the back specifies the palette as well as details about the individual shades which you can buy individually as refills. I know people are asking for empty versions of the palettes to be sold since you can buy them individually. This is the Cinnabar. I am excited to try these Lisa Eldridge eyeshadows. It's like a super elegant sort of business card case has her L and then on the back it does have the name of the palette and the shades. It is metal. It might be aluminum, but it's because it's kind of lightweight. It's heavy, but it's not, it's not a weapon. There is a thick car, you know, plastic cover in here. So this is Cinnabar. There's a decent mirror. These are the shades. Ah, oh, absolutely stunning. If I did not have fingernails, I might find it hard to open this. There is a little slit, but if you don't have nails, yeah, I don't think I could open this without fingernails, especially with my neuropathy. So hopefully I don't stab it. This is Vega. I mean, look, it's kind of hard to hold, I'm gonna be honest, because of the rounded edges, but it's pretty darn beautiful. I'm gonna use Vega. I'm going to start start in this lightest shade over here this is the shade French gray it's a velvet matte this is going to be an easy everyday wearable eyeshadow look because I am not a pro makeup artist holy hell I hope that was recording if not, I'm just taking this deeper shade and building up depth right here in the outer edge. Then going back in with the original brush and blending where the two meet. 
same thing on the other side. That's the darker shade Turbulence with the side of the smaller blending brush. Tapping it off and again just building that depth. Ending where they meet. This center shade right here. Are you kidding me? It's so pretty. The other shimmer, just to show you, is much deeper. You know what? I'm going to take the darker one on the outer edge and this one in the center and middle. This is the darker one right up here. I'm going to take that on the outer edge of each eye, not quite halfway in. And go in with the lighter shade starting at the middle and then working my way inward because I do want the bulk of the pigment right here in the middle. Multi-dimensional shades, multi-dimensional glitter. I'm going to deepen up that crease even more. I'm going to go in with this center darker gray shade and mix it with turbulence a little bit and deepen up that crease even more just was not feeling deep enough. That's a little better. Right, on the lower lash line, I'm gonna go in first with Turbulence and Vega mixed and then blend out with the lighter shade French Grey using that same more detailed blending brush. Focusing the deeper two shades on the outer corner. And just using those same two brushes, a really small pencil brush, again, into this lightest shade for the inner corner. And up on the way up here. All right. That is the eye look. I'm gonna add brows and I will be right back. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the new Victoria Beckham liner, eyeliner. This is in the Shimmer Satin Cajal Jewel liner and this is the shade Night Flash, which is sort of a black, some shimmer. So I'm just going to put a little on the very outer edge of the top and bottom and then smoke it out with the attached little smudger at the back. I did already tight line with just a plain black. Again, just putting this just to the center over and blending it out with the smudger. Again, not winging it out. Just pulling it just to the end. I'm just applying the lightest pressure over that line. What a stunning formula and eyeliner. Again, that is Night Flash. Go in with the Fantasize Mascara from One Size, Patrick Starr's brand. This tube is now on my eyelid. <laughs> I'll wait for that to dry. But uh, I was gonna say, this tube is getting thick and almost time to replace it. That is a beautiful mascara though. Not too much on the lower lash line, but it looks great with the blob of mascara. All right, I'm taking just a little bit of the center shade on a pencil brush and going over the front. Oh, that looks so pretty. 
just over the front right by my lash line to really enhance that shade. That looks even better than it did applied with my finger. Holy cow. Look at that shade. <gasps> that is so pretty. All right, again, that's the Vega palette from Lisa Eldridge. Let me clean up this eye and I'll be right back to finish the lip. I think this eye look is very pretty. Here's the swatches that will be inserted already. Vega swatches, the palette is stunning. And then the Cinnabar. So gorgeous. So, on to the lip. Okay, we'll listen to Harry when we pack. Just a couple minutes, let me finish my lip. This is the swatch of the lip pencil. It is in the shade Sorcery. I wanted the lipstick in this shade, but they were sold out already. So I figured the lip pencil was the next best thing. A little better. It's a very beige, cool tone, muted, dusty, clay mauve rose. <laughs> it's all of those things. And then the lipstick shade I got was Velvet Enchantment. It's a sort of rosy pink with red, heavy red leaning. So I thought it was kind of unique. I was going to get Velvet Duchess, the deep red shade, but I have so many reds. I know it's deeper than Velvet Ribbon, but I feel like... Okay. You can come say hi. Be careful though, cause I got, oh, you're eating ice cream, baby. Okay. Say hi. Bye-bye, <laughs> thank you. I'm going in with the lip liner in the shade Sorcery. I'm gonna fill them in too. Have you guys been watching the new season of Yellowstone? They don't super go together, but I'm gonna go ahead and just put Velvet Enchantment right on top. This is the swatch again. Mmm, that is such a pretty shade. I'm just going to take a small brush and clean up. That is so pretty. Again, because I have Velvet Sorcery underneath, it's a little deeper. I'm gonna finish up with one more spritz of the Caudalie Beauty Elixir Spray. And then I am gonna put a tiny bit of the Sephora Collection Face Trio Highlight. I'm using the center shade and I'm putting that just right on the tip of my nose. Center. Do you see that? Ah, oh, it's so pretty. This base palette is absolutely stunning. This is the shade Gleam. I'm gonna put a little bit of this also right here at the crook of my eyebrow. Right above. I'm gonna go in with some of the Kosas bronzer, but the Rare Beauty bronzer still looks pretty good. I don't think I'll go in with a tiny bit. This is the shade medium in the Kosas bronzer. And because this is a pretty intense medium, I'm going in with a super fluffy brush that I would use for very pigmented blush. And I'm just lightly going around the perimeter of my forehead, bottom underneath here. Go, I go. 
and just lightly along the sides of my nose. Underneath my nose. I pinch the brush and go right along top here. And then now I'm gonna go back in with the Valentino. My eyes water quite a bit during the winter months and it's really annoying because I tend to lose all my coverage right in this area. Go back across the my nose a little bit, bring some of that pink back. And just to tie the eye together, I'm gonna bring it just ever so slightly along the edge here. The hair is slightly more orange than I wanted, but I've also heard this copper hair, pumpkin spice hair is big right now, so I'm trendy and I didn't even try. Anyway, this is the final look. Playing with new makeup, the Lisa Eldridge eyeshadow palettes, lipstick and lip liner are stunning products. Gorgeous packaging. Again, here's your swatches of the Vega palette over here and the Cinnabar palette over here. So we played with some of our new products from various hauls, some new Sigma brushes. I do, oh, you know what? Yeah. I'm gonna finish everything with the Chantecai Holiday. This is the blur powder. I am gonna go in with a big, fluffy, flat top brush all the way around, and I'm literally just gonna use this as a finishing powder. No harsh lines. Oh my goodness. Zoom in so you can see the skin up close. Vega eyeshadow palette. That's your finished look. I love it. I love this lip. It's bold, but absolutely wearable. Hello. Say hi. Hi. Where are we going tomorrow? To the airport. To the airport? Hi. Hi. We're going to have a great time. Happy Thanksgiving. Can you say Happy Thanksgiving? Happy Thanksgiving. Be well, be kind to each other, love one another. It is Hot Messy Mama on IG and TikTok Hot and Messy YouTube. Mama. Hot Messy Mama! Hot Messy Mama, that's right. Hot, Hot Messy Mama. Hot Messy Mama! Thank you again. Have a great rest of your Thank day. You. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Bye! You gonna blow a kiss? Blow a kiss.